Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for the Atari 2600. Happy Halloween! You guys ready for another crazy Atari game? This one was released by Wizard Video in 1982. Let's check this out. Grab your joystick and become Leatherface, the homicidal chainsaw-wielding maniac of your nightmares. A group of hapless tourists have trespassed onto your property. One by one they've been hunted down and eliminated, and only a handful remain. So, oil up your chainsaw and find as many victims as you can before your fuel runs out. Okay, so let's try and get by the main menu here. Alright, this is kind of like the startup. And of course, you can do up to uh, two players if you want. Now, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, along with Halloween, were some of the earliest horror games ever made. And these games were aimed at the adult market. And because of the violent content, these games were either banned from stores or hidden behind the counter. And games like these became pretty rare, and sales were small, causing the company, Wizard Video, to stop making video games altogether. So it's pretty much uh, straightforward. We pretty much know what to do here. We're going to start this up. Chasing bitches, cutting them up. Now, I really can't explain the uh, teleportation powers they have. Look at this. I guess they just wanted to make the gameplay uh, a little more challenging. You know, it's, it's harder to catch the women. They should have had them, like, speed up or something. But no, they, they teleport. It's kind of ridiculous. So basically, every time you use your chainsaw, you kind of burn your fuel a little faster, as you can see right there. I was just kind of hitting the button. Oh, but yeah, you really have to hit the button and make contact with them. If you're just holding out your chainsaw and touching them with it, it's just not going to even do anything. Now, you got to watch these obstacles, because even right there... Just kind of did that on purpose, really. Even if a small little pixel of your body or anything, the chainsaw, comes in contact with these objects, you're just stuck. And you just have to, like, you know, get, you know, away, use your chainsaw, kind of break up the objects. Now, we have, like, like three lives, I suppose you could say, or, like, three, like, fuel, I guess you could say. And we're burning our fuel pretty fast. God damn it! Sometimes I jump the gun right there, and I, I turn around before she actually teleports. Just jump that old chainsaw gun. So yeah, the uh, the women are screaming with their Atari sound effects. You know, really not that bad for the early 80s. I'm burning my fuel. Ugh, I'm gonna get her! I'm gonna get her! It's interesting playing as the killer, you know? You're just running around the, uh, the screen here, trying to chop up women. You see pixelated blood and I don't know, splotches. Look at that. Look, it's like a mangled mess. Whoa, whoa, almost came in contact with that wheelchair. A lot of the same objects here. Of course, the background's pretty ridiculous as the trees are so big and the house and the truck there are so small in comparison. Come here, you bitch! But, you know, it's Atari graphics. I don't know what the hell you're expecting. What I was expecting, though, was for Leatherface's chainsaw be a different color than it is. I mean, he has black shoes, his blue outfit, you know, his face is a different color, even his hair. But they couldn't make the chainsaw a different color? Make it black, you know? Make it gray. Make it purple. Make it anything. Come on, man. So right now I'm racking up the points, which is, hey, what you're supposed to do in an Atari game. Damn it. Oh! It's getting crazy. Hey, you can move, uh, Either left to right, but ugh, I'm running out of fuel. Oh Jesus! The obstacles can get a little more tricky. Kind of hard to get around all that. Jesus! And they still teleport. Gotcha! Nice. Oh, my fuel ran out, and she kicked me in the hiney. And that's the game over right there. Unbelievable. Of course, this was based off the 1974 American independent horror film. And upon its 1974 release, the movie was banned in several countries, and numerous theaters stopped showing the film in response to complaints about its violence. Now, for me personally, I have seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but I didn't see it until way later in my life. You know, actually, I think a couple years ago, really. And what did I think of it? I thought it was, I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine did a very good job. It was, it was good, you know. But do I consider it like such a huge movie, like the impact it made and and all and all the uh, 
you know, sequels and the, and the reception and I don't know to me I'm not gonna say it's overrated but I think it's like something I missed out on you know it's not my generation it, it's like the mid 70s you know and I was born in the early 80s so to me you know it's kind of like I missed out on it you know had I been like a teenager and living in the 70s you know and this movie came out and you know I snuck in to see it uh, would have made such a a, a huger impact on me, you know, I've been, been crazier, but no, you know, by then, you know, the 70s were out, and I was in my 20s, and I've seen a lot of stuff already, so it just didn't make uh, a big impact on me, god, I like, passed through her, come on, Leatherface, get that chainsaw moving, that's too bad, I wish I could have seen this upon its uh, initial release, you know, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. But of course, I mean, you don't really need to be there when it was initially released to really enjoy it. But I do kind of feel like it does make a difference, at least to me. Damn it! Damn it! This bitch is really driving me crazy! Okay, we got a little sidetrack there. Man! Fuck you! Teleportation? That was, uh, that one was in a purple dress, right? I'm gonna remember her, the purple dress bitch. Is that her again? Purple bitch. We gotta get her. Yeah, the women actually wear different colored clothes. Oh, ho, ho, that time I was quick, quick on the old turnabout there. Ah. So I have seen uh, multiple Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Like I said, I saw the original. I have seen the uh, the later re-releases, the remakes. They were okay. You know, once again, nothing, uh, nothing too spectacular. I didn't see the sequels that followed the original back in the, uh, like the 90s and all. Never seen them. I should probably get on that. Okay, break it up. Sometimes I just kind of, like, wait for it to go away. But no, if you hit the chainsaw button, you can kind of make those objects go away quicker. Oh, damn it, the wheelchair! Oh, there she is. She's mine. You're mine, bitch! Come on! Oh, gotcha. Nice. There you go. Oh, damn it. Come on. Damn it again. Oh, I ran out of fuel. I don't know if I had a better high score that time. I wasn't really keeping track. I was more frustrated that time, that's for damn sure. So she kicked me in the high knee, and I'm dead again. Let's give it another go around there, shall we? Notice how my fuel, like diminishes even if I'm not using my chainsaw you see that oh oh I got her ah. okay I want to go I gotta tell you if you want to compare Halloween and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the video games not the original movies I gotta say I enjoy Halloween a little more apparently Halloween the video game did a little more better than this game the Texas Chainsaw Massacre but really, you know, it's pretty much the same thing, and they were rare and hidden behind counters, and, you know, video game violence, this is where it started. Mothers were outraged. My little boy's playing as a character, and he's chopping up women with a blue dick. What is that? <laughs> it's a chainsaw. Okay. Oh, I got it. Yes! Outrage. The outrage. The graphics. The bloodiness. Alright, purple dress, bitch. I'm telling you, the purple one is, like, really tricky, man. Oof. Okay, let's go. So, yeah, I actually enjoyed Halloween the game a little more. I guess because there was a little more to do in that game. You don't play as the killer. You're trying to get away from the killer. But it just seems like you're doing a little more in there. You're, you're guiding the children, you know, through the rooms. The doors, you know, trying to get away. And you take him to the safe room where, you know, of course, there's like a invisible force field, so no one can pass but you and the children. But I don't know, it just, it felt a little more, it had just a little more fun factor to it, I suppose. Like, this is just really just walking back and forth and just trying to get the teleportation bitches. I just, it's not as satisfying, you know, it's like, oh yeah, let's get her, let's chop, let's chop the bitch up. And then you do, and you get her, and it's just like, oh, man, that is not satisfying. I mean, this is supposed to be one of the first horror games. 
and you're playing as the bad guy, and you're chopping people up, and there's pixelated blood, and I just, I don't get anything from it at all. I'm not getting anything from this. It's kind of a bummer, really. I don't know. I think it's just the obstacles that just get in my way. And, and the teleportation is just really irritating. Ah! I wish that looked better, too. The mangled body mess of pixels. And Leatherface's chainsaw sucks. They need to remake this game. Oh, running in everything. Yeah, the, oh, the controls, by the way, aren't that great. The only cool sound effects, I guess you could say, is Leatherface's chainsaw after he disposes of one of the victims. Kind of makes this certain sound. Well, his regular sound effect is good, too. God, I'm just running into everything. Come on, come on. And the, the girl screaming, that's kind of cool, right? I mean, what was what was Atari supposed to do back in the, the early 80s, you know? That's, that's a pretty good sound effect. God, I, I try and go back to get away, and then I run into the other object that's, like, right above me. Kick me in the hiney! You showed me! Really? That's the way to end it? You know, when you get the game over, like, it should be more satisfying. I mean, they already showed me killing the girls with the pixelated blood, so the girl should, you know, black screen, the girl sneaks up behind me, and then, I don't know, takes a, a big knife and, like, sticks it in the, my chest, or, or use a purple chainsaw and, and kill me with that, you know? Just turnabout's fair play, wouldn't you say? I want one more. One more. I'm Leatherface, bitch! That's all pretty easy, right? Look at that house and that truck in the background, by the way. Look at those huge trees. Yeah, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Ah, oh, that was, that was a good reaction. I just pretty much predicted. Oh, it's got to be coming. Let's just go for it. Get by the fences. Cut up the bitch. There you go. Good, good track down, Leatherface. Way to go, buddy. I like Leatherface's expression. He's just kind of like... Hey? Mm. Leatherface wants his candy, but not the kind of candy you and I like. He likes chopped up girl candy. Whoa! Alright. You know what I think I should do, though? I really should probably, ah, my fuel, pop in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre again and check that out. Because I, I only saw it once, like I said, about eh, five, several years ago. But I didn't tell you where I saw it. I saw it while visiting a buddy at college, at his apartment. So, it really wasn't the best setting either. I think it actually was Halloween time though. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was. It was like eh, September, maybe October. October or September, something like that. So it was, you know, fall, kind of Halloween time. So that was pretty cool. But really, you know, in that kind of environment, <laughs> it's not really the best place to like check out a really iconic movie you know that just changed the horror genre forever you know just maybe not the the right scenery and, and setting to watch such a movie maybe that's another like kind of reason why i just thought it was oh, it's good but like man really like why does everyone make such a fuss about it i mean it's good and all but come on like damn but once again i, I just think this would have been so much better and meant much more to me you know had it been really you know released uh, you know now if this idea came out like when i was like a teen or something like that that would been great but you know horror movies stick out to me too you know my generation like you know the original scream the first one that kind of stuff and of course the uh, the nightmare on elm street movies that was kind of around my time really kind of saw them a couple of years after the first couple the first couple came out, really, though. But those, those scared the hell out of me. Nightmare on Elm Street, those. Those scared the crap out of me. Leatherface, we're running out of fuel. All right, let's, let's turn it up, man. Let's get crazy. Let's start cranking it. I think, uh, I think I might have tied my high score. I don't know. I remember seeing that score. So I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm doing pretty well here. Eh. Oh, hey, how you doing? Okay. All right, oop, all right. Stay on the path. Oh, no. Jesus. I... God, and it all goes to hell. Okay, I got her. I got to get her. Nurse. There you go. Okay, we might be able to get one more. Should we go left or right? I chose right. Which was left? 
Oh, I got her! <laughs> it's probably the last bitch we're gonna fucking cut up. I'm gonna shred you! Come on, can I make it? No! Kicked in the hiney. Game over. Oh my. So, there you go, guys. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very interesting game. Followed a very interesting movie. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. And stay tuned for the next part of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I will see you guys next time. I am out. <laughs>